welcome to the another session in frontiers in cfd so cfd simulation of for the thermal management of prismatic cell battery with an octa decay as a phase change material so this is the topic for today so the objective is to prepare the 3d geometry of battery pack with phase change material to understand the heat generation per unit volume based upon uh, the c rates which uh, normally applicable and next objective is to apply the boundary conditions and visualize the result Uh, in terms of visualizing here we will be interested in observing the solidification and melting at what temperature it has been occurring as well as how much of the liquid fraction has been available so we are following one of the reference paper which is uh, with the title which is described below uh, we have made some slight changes over there so credit to those the paper we have followed some of the things and we are uh, using the heat generation per unit volume as i said uh, 104017 watt per meter cube Uh, if you want you can join the channel to get access to the premium support which is maybe in the form of geometry uh, a consultancy services and the simulation complete simulation files along with the setups so if you are interested you can join over here so these are the dimensions of cell 100 by 75 then 2 cent uh, 2 mm that is the thickness of the phase change material then 2.5 is your prismatic cell and then again uh, in between that we have so much of layers so total is 15.5 so we are going to follow this uh, geometry in order to proceed for the design model today we will see the battery model specification with pcm included so we'll try to prepare this geometry and accordingly uh, we'll proceed for preparing the simulation so slightly make it zoom here So this is the model which you are going to follow. This is the dimension which is given 2.5, and this given is total is 15.50. Uh, this connector will try to um, not to include because uh, it may go on to complexity. But even if you include it, not much an issue. We just try to prepare the geometry of that particular connectors also. So first of all, let's click on the workbench window. So here. So first, understand the dimensions here. That is. This is 2.5, 2. So there are three such layers of 2.5. So 2.5, 2.5, and 2.5. So there will be 7.5 over there. Out of the 7.5 uh, remaining, you will be having this one, two, then three and four. So 15.5 is uh, 15.50 is there. So Okay, so click on fluid flow fluent option. So first of all, go to the geometry. I will select new design modular geometry. So coming back to the dimension which I said, that is 15.50 minus 7.5. So that will become. So that will become as eight, and there are total four layers. So I will just have. Uh, divide it uh, divided by four, so we'll take it. So it will be of each will be of two mm. So depend uh, that will be the thickness of the PCM. So accordingly, we are going to prepare the geometry. So this is seventy five, <coughs> and this is fifteen point. So hundred by seventy five, seventy five will be height. So accordingly, we are going to prepare. So let's first select the units to millimeter. Click on any one of the plane x y. So first of all, I will create a box, like box structure. So the box like structure will be of 100 by 75. So and so this x component I will take it 100, and y component I will take it 75. Here and the z component now I will decide based upon the the thicknesses which I am having. So that is 15.50. So accordingly, I will. Make it 15.50 over here. So likewise, the the structure has been prepared. Now there is one way you can individually create the layers, and accordingly also this process can be done. I have done it at single instance, and I will just go on to slice the geometry further. So this is the first uh, box which I have generated as per the required dimension. So as I said earlier, so this is 22.5 multiplied by 3. So three such layers are there, and There will be total 15.50, so remaining is 
and 8 is further equally divided you will have 2 over there so first of all I will create one more plane I will slice the geometry along xy so first of all I will create a plane base plane for this will be xy I will make it offset z first that is equal to 2 so you will be observing this has been shifted just click on generate and then go with the slice operation so plane 4 so we are just generated one layer similarly one more plane I will create now so from this plane 4 now I will make it offset z so if you go back to the geometry it shows 2.5 so the second slice will be at a distance of 2.5 mm and let's make it generate so do the slice operation one more time make it apply and then generate so second slice is also done third will be again 2 so from plane 5 make it offset z this will be 2 let's make it generate and so on so let's do the slice operation for this make it apply and generate so third layer has been there so one more layer will be for now PCM so offset z I will make it 2.5 here so let's make it generate and do the slice operation so now uh, we are done with the cell over there now it will be for PCM so offset z by distance that is equal to 2 let's make it generate so now next to do this slice operation make it generate so this is how the third is generated now just now we are done at a distance of 2 so next will be at a distance of 2.5 so let's make it offset here z so take a distance that is equal to 2.5 and let's make it generate and do the slice operation make it generate so we have generated this so individually you can see there are three layers first this is second uh, I will select 3d geometry here this is first this is second this is third and this is fourth so this is all your PCM so accordingly I will change the name this to a PCM so here this is the first solid this is this okay so this is this is also PCM and this is also PCM so I will just make it this as a form new part so we will mention this as the PCM then this is 1, 2 and 3 so this will be your prismatic cell so I will just rename this or will first form new part and then we will make it uh, so mention it as the prismatic cell okay so this is prism and this is your prismatic cells so individually you can change the name over here also so make it copy give the name control V this is also your control V PCM this is also your PCM and last will also be your PC PCM so this is how the PCM are been done so all of them we are done now it's time for the prismatic cell so make it copy so let's make it generate this is prismatic cell second one will also prismatic cell and the third one will also be a prismatic cell so we are done the prismatic cell as well as the PCM so PCM later on you can make as a fluid zone also in the the subsequent section where we want to define the phases so accordingly we will proceed this in the next part okay now next thing is uh, if you want you can actually prepare connectors over here just by preparing geometry on this layer so this is one of the option by which things can be done or uh, you can have the basic default shapes which are being generated so accordingly also other things can be done but uh, depends like how they are in connection so just like here sorry just like here you can see they are in connection this is the first and uh, this and these are connected then this is the simple solid bar over here similarly the other is also been connected so accordingly uh, the geometries can be prepared on uh, we can say the cell which on the cells which have been specified so I am not going to prepare the connectors I will just proceed with the uh, we can say remaining parameters I am not going to specify the connectors as well as tab you can specify prepare the geometry of connector as well as tab and accordingly you have to define the materials in the later stages so I will just uh, save the work here let's prepare the new folder 
so the title here is the I will specify a prismatic cell with PCM click on save button Okay, once this is done, you can open the next part that is related to mesh. So as per the paper, they are used various uh, sizes of mesh. If you go here, so mesh when they are taken, number of elements is 155. Uh, maximum surface temperature they are found is 302, 158,245. And this is the third mesh, it's a quite bigger one. Uh, sorry, quite bigger number of nodes and element. So I will preferably go with something in between over there. Uh, that is the second and third because uh, slightly for better accuracy also we might go to um, more number of nodes and elements so let's make it generate first as a default mesh I will generate uh, here so right now if you see the number of nodes and element this is very low so I just put it 0 0.001 or 001 first and check it how the number of nodes and element are so that becomes one like 84,000 so this is somewhat nearer to the mesh too but I will take it uh, beyond this also 0 0.0005 I will take and let's make it generate so I took it 0 0.0005 so definitely the number of nodes and element will be on the higher side with this uh, particular case but also we need to understand how the configuration of your computer how it will be able to handle so uh, it is looking slightly more so I can go with let us say instead of 0 point so 11 okay so I will just come continue with this okay so we are generated mesh that is uh, for the number of nodes and element so we are comparatively on the higher side line like 30,000 that is elements and 11 lakh 53,338 so this is uh, we can go with this but we need to understand the mesh how the, your computer is also responsive so I will go with this uh, mesh which has been available so this is how the geometry is so this is your PCM and beside the prism there is a prismatic cell so let's uh, proceed with this So click on update once you are done you can click on update so mesh translation is successful once this message is received you can actually proceed further so let's click on save button so as per the paper there is nothing which mentioned related to casing or other thing so that's why we are not added but if it is there you need to add it so let's check the utilization of your computer if it is goes too high then probably we should go with some different size of mesh in my case it's not going that much high so I can continue with the same over here so let's proceed with the next part that is related to setup click on edit and double precision I will take depending on the configurations your computer can support I will put it 16 over here so what is required for us now is related to the material properties so just quickly go to the material properties here so we took it somewhere in between and this density the material of cell is given 2092 678 and this is the thermal conductivity is given for material of the cell so these are the two things which we are not covered uh, if we are covering you need to enter that properties also okay so next thing we need to do is search for the heat generation per unit volume if it is there so I will just search in the paper if it is there is something heat generation is mentioned so 
there is nothing mentioned related to the heat generation per unit volume so we'll be using some different value uh, based upon some of the previous papers so first of all uh, we need this values so let's see say make it transient then thermal put this is minus 9.81 so make it here go to the models I will put the energy equation on here viscous I will put it K epsilon enhanced wall treatment thermal effect and the curvature correction so I will put down this values make it ok so solidification melting also I will turn it on make it ok and then close so now it's time to define the materials so the fluid is not there so I will just directly uh, specify the PCM over here PCM I will put liquid so PCM liquid I mentioned so I need to follow the properties which is specified here ok so we will use the first one that is n octet again so liquid phase is 724 so I will mention this as 724 specific heat is given as 2180 so I will put it 2180 then thermal conductivity I will specify as 0 0.152 0.152 then viscosity value is given 0 0.00268 0 0.00268 0 so this is the value is given then uh, latent heat is 2 to 5 triple 0 2 to 5 triple 0 solidus temperature and liquidus temperature that we are interested in so 301.15 301.15 liquidus temperature is given 303.15 so 303.15 so let's make it change material okay so close this so this is PCM liquid now I will just go with the PCM solid so mention this as PCM here as solid so PCM here I will mention this as solid so density for the PCM solid I just have to look over here so this is 814 814 then specific heat is given point sorry 19504 for solid so 19504 for solid and the thermal conductivity which is given is here uh, 0.358 so make it 0.358 so this is for your PCM solid ok let's close this apart from that we will be requiring the uh, the lithium cells so I will go with this one fluent database I will just go with the solid select any one of the material let's make it copper over here then sorry aluminum so let's make it as lithium cell so here also lithium cell I will mention just go to the properties of your lithium so that was here uh, 2092 so this is 2092 then specific heat was 678 so this will be 678 and thermal conductivity was 18.4 18.4 so if you have specified the material like connector and other thing that material you need to add here so as we have not done this so I am not going to add but apart from that you need to add this in the respective sections over there now next is cell zone condition so zone type so the prismatic cell I will make it to the solid sorry sorry uh, yeah prismatic cell I will make it to solid so this is to lithium and cell the PCM it will be in the fluid uh, mentioned as fluid zone over here so just uh, PCM liquid so that is there as it correct you have to keep it as it is the prismatic cell it must be a lithium cell here I will add a source term over here so let's make it let's say 1 so I will just take it constant 
I will put some value over here for the PCM cell. Uh, as for the paper, there is not. Uh, we have tried to search for the value, but uh, it hasn't been observed. I will just check one more time. Okay, so heat generation is the values are not given, I think. So, heat generation per unit volume, we'll just check it if somewhere it is given or we'll utilize the values based upon specific values of discharge rate that is from some other papers. Okay, so we don't have any value as of now here in this paper. So I will just go with some of the value which is as for some of the reference paper which we had earlier. So I'll put it 104017. This is one of the value which I will put. You can put lower also. Uh, so make it source term. Then we apply this. Then it is closed. So we are done uh, the specifying the conditions over there. So now uh, here just search for the prismatic cell. So the prismatic cell will be made up of lithium. So that you have to ensure here. Then wall PCM. Now it will be your solid wall. Uh, solid PCM that should be available. So PCM solid is by default is there. If you want you can put some value of convective heat transfer coefficient also on the PCM. Uh, but I'm not doing this. So this is for boundary conditions. Then go to the report definitions. So click on new surface report area weighted average. So I will take it solidification melting. So liquid fraction. So where the liquid fractions has been available so that we have to understand. Uh, it cannot be for each and every layer. It will be for only prismatic cells. Sorry, it will be only for the PCM. So accordingly you have to select the PCM region only. Uh, right now it will be slightly difficult to understand because uh, this will not show the actual image. So what I will do, I will first of all I will set the total temperature and then I will come back here and then I will specify the solidification melting. So static temperature, uh, instead of static I will put it total temperature. I will select all, print to console and mention here a total temperature. So let's say this is total temperature of system. So I have selected every each and every thing. Now I go to the initialization. I click on initialization. Now once we are done the initialization, I will check it for the the layers which are actually the PCM and accordingly I will go back to solution definition and accordingly will set. So contours. Now if I want to specify let us say temperature here also I will specify total temperature so select all make it here instead of exponential I will make it float make it apply save display yeah so everything has been visible over here as of now so let's make it close and select this and I will mention this as a total temperature so this will be total temperature I will say it and mission so make it okay now one more thing which I was interested in the solidification melting. So contour I will select now solidification melting I will select liquid fraction. So where the liquid fraction will be available it will be available in the PCM not in the cell. So accordingly we have to carefully select the region. So first I will select this and just see you can see the PCM layer has been there but one of them you will see it is becoming hollow. So I don't want to see this as a hollow. So that's why I carefully will select some of the regions over there and we'll check it how it goes okay so so this is not the required layer so this is not a contact region which is first one I have contact region I will take just check it yeah so now this okay this is also not the one so second I will just check I need this to be completely filled so select the third one third one not there okay 
so one more time I will just go on to select some of the others I'll just check it all shadow here so now I'll check it with SRC Okay, so one of the layer has been selected now here also it is there so this is also there only the the middle one is left so one more SRC I will select just check it whether it comes or not okay so here I think this layer has came yeah so one this one is left so one more SRC I will select so now you can see each and every layer has been selected so this is the one thing which you always need to do because as I said earlier you need to select as a PCM all material which this should be visible as a solid only so earlier it was not solid it was like a hollow now we just made the changes and accordingly we are able to see each one of them as a solid so this is once this is been done you just click on save display this is the close and select the contours too and now specify the solidification melting so I here application melting so so make it okay and now what I will do here uh, once this is okay, sorry one thing I will just go inside edit instead of color map here exponential I will make it float and just make it apply close this is close and let's make it yeah so the scale will be properly visible now again go back to reward definition as I said earlier yeah, the things was not properly visible there and that's why uh, I just go with surface I observed this in the animation window and now I will select the solidification melting now liquid fraction all the SRC region I will select now because they will be present as the zones of which specifies the PCM so print to console mention this as a solidification melting curve so I mentioned this is solidification melting curve so let's make it okay so now once this is done this will be correct rather than the one which we are done earlier and that's why first we done with this animation and then we come back to report definition again in animation we are able to see each and every layer and then once we are confirmed with the, all the PCM material then only we are going back to report definition so otherwise arbitrarily, arbitrarily if you select then there will be chances of you are making error okay so once this is done I will just go back to the run calculation here so I will put the number of time step let us say around 100 will run it for first 100 time steps so this is not a problem of the fluid which is flowing through some pipe or something like that so there will be less chances of the floating point exception error and that's why I am not keeping the adaptive time step you can actually put adaptive time step but the time requirement will be slightly on the higher side okay so this is with what we are done now let's run the calculation once we are running the calculation you just always check the usages which has been happening so whatever the number of nodes and element you are taken if they are uh, we say far more than the your 16 capabilities so in that case you can go with some lower number of node points and element also so when this curves and the animation window will be visible once this iterations like this is the first second so once this reach to 20 you will see one by one the windows are coming and once that windows have been coming so you will be in position to visualize what will happen to PCM and what will happen to heat generation which is taking from the cell I have took uh, one of the value that is 104017 as the heat generation per unit volume but you can take it actual as per the uh, we can say specification uh, here in the paper it was not there uh, because I think they are used some slightly different model so we are using a model where the heat generation per unit volume of the cell has been considered so if you are following that you can just get the current rating you just get the the voltage rating and then accordingly you can uh, get uh, what is the heat generation per unit volume depending on the volume of the cells so likewise the things can be done again as I said earlier it can take some time uh, because uh, 
uh, for observing the solar friction to melting that happen you can actually see the the heat has been dissipated to the pcm over here but till the time and okay so this is the contours of liquid fraction as of now you are not able to see any liquid fraction available here why this is not so because you will see 300.06 and if you remember as per the paper the solidification and melting yeah the solidus and liquidus temperature was mentioned mentioned as 310 301.15 and 303.15 so till that time it doesn't reach to that material you will not be able to you will not be in position to visualize the liquid fraction and that's why there is no such liquid fraction available here you can see all the curves are showing zero again the solidification melting curve it's right now it is flat but once this temperature reach to the solidus and liquidus temperature you will see a curve which is going in the upward direction so by that time we have to wait for some time in order to visualize the simulation over here so this is what the iterations which we are performing as i said earlier uh, you can put the add up to time steps also but we are not dealing with some kind of fluid flow problem where there will be issue with the current number so uh, there are less chances of having that error over here and that's why i have directly took a fixed time step size and so the time step size we have taken one number of time step i put as 100 so we have to wait till this 100 time steps are been completed and uh, by that time if the temperature reaches to the temperature which is around say now you can see 300.34 so 0.34 is the rise which we have observed so once this rise goes to around 303 or 301 more than that you will see the solidification melting which is happening so we have to say, wait for some time in order to visualize the solidification and melting that will takes place in the pcm so while maintaining this uh, while preparing the animation i just mention only the pcm material over there because that is the that is the only point where the uh, liquid fraction will be generated and that's why no need, no point of selecting the lithium ion cell over there so right now the curve is very flat so we have to wait for some time in order to visualize the solidification melting so we'll be back uh, after some time once the iterations are completed so now we can see the temperature has reached more than 301.42 and the contours of liquid fraction which you can be able to see here for the pcm which has been there uh, you will see some uh, changes over here in terms of liquid fraction at the same time the liquid fraction curve is also been visible earlier it was a flat so this has some rise in the values of temperature sorry uh, this is because of the rise in value of temperature and that's why we will see the liquid fraction is visible as of now still the value of liquid fraction is very less that is 0.018 is the maximum value which you are able to see but as the temperature go on to increase you might see some more variations in the liquid fraction which has been available so uh, right now again uh, the temperature is uh, uh, changing frequently you can see 301.43 as of now and so this is the liquid fraction in terms of the pcm which has been there uh, you can see here apart from that the liquid fraction curve which has been there uh, if you have took some different value of Uh, the heat generation rate per unit volume because i took 104017 as a heat generation per unit volume if you do some different value there are chances that there will be some delay in the liquid fraction so for uh, simulation point of view just to show the liquid fraction i took the value which is maybe slightly higher but you can use your own value as per the the we say the standard specification of the lithium ion cell and accordingly this uh, the simulation can be carried out so you can see the temperature curve becoming slightly flat after some period of time so uh, i will not say it is slightly flat but uh, we say the increase is gradually has been uh, we say to a lower extent so this is how the number of iterations which are been there so still we have to wait for some time in order to visualize how the things will happen at the end of say around 100 time steps and 100 flow time so we are around 91% has been completed and you will see the total temperature of the system is around 301.52 then contours of liquid fraction which we can see here uh, 0.08 is showing as of now solidification melting curve so that we can see so this a uh, rise we are observing a line which is going towards the right then total temperature of the system Uh, still it is not become flat it's slightly on the increasing 
order. Then these are the residuals, uh, the iterations which we have performed. So we are around 96% has been completed. So you can say 96 times it's been completed. Uh, so we might have to run this further in order to visualize in more better way. So this is around 97 times which have been generated. So at the end of 100 time steps, how the things are visible that we are going to see once the calculation is completed. So we have completed 100 time steps and at the end of 100 time steps, we are observing the results as liquid fraction as 0.09. Uh, which has been here, uh, the scales residual, so number of iterations that has been performed, the temperature curve, the total temperature of system, then the solidification melting curve which you are observing here, the contours of liquid fraction, again the same window, and the total temperature of, uh, we can see the system. So this is how uh, the various things which are been visible. We might want to run it further, let us say I will run it for further 50 seconds over here, and accordingly we will visualize how the changes are occurring after the 50th time step. So before that, I will just save the work so that there will not be any problem when we are running the next simulation. Okay, so, so even if let us say floating point exception and another error occurs, you can go back to the last point where it has been saved. So that was the purpose of saving it. So let's click on calculate and one more time, let's run the simulation. So we'll come back once the next 50 time steps have been there. So we are at the end of 200 time steps, sorry, 150 time steps. So we'll run it further in order to visualize it in quite better way. So let's make it further 50 and first of all save it and then run again it for 50. So at the end of let's say around 200 seconds, so what will happen, we'll check it after some time. So this is the contours of total temperature where you are able to see the variations of temperature over the flow time. So that relates to the total temperature of the system. Second, this one relates to the solidification melting. So the liquid fraction which is raised, you can see around 0.4547 over there for around 600 time steps. Then uh, this is the scale residual for which the iterations have been performed. Uh, then we have the liquid fraction versus the flow time. So this is the curve which is drawn initially. We are on it around almost 600 seconds. And this is 